All right, so today we have the Samsung Smart Tag 2 and a couple keychains or cases as they call them. I bought the four pack, you can buy it individually or multiples, but I have enough use case for these four that I'll get it. And then I got four cases to go with it. I previously had the first Samsung Smart Tag. It was beneficial, you know, in case you lost your keys or something. It's pretty good. This is a newer one, should be better. It's a different shape, but more importantly for me, I just bought a Tesla and now you don't need to carry a key fob anymore. You know, mainly you're just using your phone or this credit card key, right? But I still need to carry keys, right? You know, all these people make Tesla videos, but like, oh, I don't need keys anymore. I still have a house. <laughs> I still got other stuff I need keys for. So what I've been carrying around is the spare key to the Cadillac that my son drives. I really don't need his spare key with me at all times. I don't need the extra key fob. So I think this is gonna help make a smaller keychain for me. But again, I have, you know, spare keys around the house. So it's gonna be one for me, one for my son, and then spare keys, I'll put them on there. Or luggage, what have you, right? Hey, you all know me. I like to have the latest and greatest. I got iPhones, I got Galaxies, I got Teslas. And I know all that stuff can get very expensive. That's why me personally, I like to save money in other areas whenever I can. That's why I'm excited to tell you about how I partnered with Mint Mobile to show you how you can save some money too. Have you ever just stopped and thought, why in the mesh IT is my wireless bill so expensive? Oh yeah. What are you even paying all that money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspots. But guess what? Mint Mobile offers all of that for as low as $15 per month. And you know Mint Mobile runs on the nation's largest 5G network. So there's no reason to pay more than you have to for access to premium wireless. Plus, it's super easy to switch to Mint. Thanks to digital eSIM cards, you can sign up and activate immediately from the comfort of your own home. And if your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a new physical SIM card for free. And I can tell you from personal experience, my physical SIM card from Mint Mobile shipped super quick. My S23 Ultra was eSIM compatible, but you know I switch phones a lot. So I asked for a physical SIM card instead, and I got it in the mail the very next day. Now, of course, depending on where you live, it might take a bit longer, but for me, it was super quick and super easy. So stop overpaying for wireless service. Go to trymintmobile.com slash 5 after 12, link in the description, and get yourself a premium wireless plan for as low as $15 a month. Anyhow, let's crack it open. Let's just destroy the box like a monster. And there's all four pretty smart tags. So it's weird to have this little hole because it's really kind of too fat to put a keychain in. That's why I thought, I, mean, I guess you could, but oh, there's a little button right here. It deep presses right here. So there is black and white here. It has like a little uh, SIM card remover type tool to, I guess, take the battery out. I don't believe I need any instructions. I'm a really smart guy. So there's a black and a white one. I got the black one and you got the white one. I'm probably going to use the black one. So let's just go ahead and get my phone ready. I think as soon as I open the phone, it will open this tag. I think it's in the recognition. So I do have a Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, which I love. And then as soon as I pull this out, it made a noise. I don't know if you heard that on camera. This thing made a little bloop noise. And then it immediately recognized it here. And so I'm gonna add, you have to agree to use stuff. So I'm gonna agree. And it says, keep your tablet. And it thinks I'm using a tablet. It's not a tablet, it's a phone. This is a cell phone. So it says press button in the bottom. So right here, there's a little button. You can hear it depress. All right, so now it's recognizing it. And then we're gonna finish setting up in the background. So I'm gonna go to home screen. It says it's adding it to smart things. And it is already added very fast. So let's update it. I never had a problem with the first one, but obviously a newer one's better, right? It should have more precise location gathering. So hopefully that'll work. It was time to buy a new battery from my other one anyhow. So let me update this. Let me get my actual keys. Here is the original smart tag, which is on you know, like I said, kind of like key drive. I wasn't lying to you. And it had, you know, a more traditional setup. So I mean, I guess I could put one of those, like a ring inside there, but I'll just put this on there, but that seemed a little wonky. So I was getting these cases to kind of help with that. All right, so it says, says it's connecting. It does say Smart Tag 2 on there. I don't know if you can read that. It says home on the go, still connecting. Let me hit the button, see if it helps it connect any. It made the noise, so I assume it's connected. All right, so now it shows both of them. See, the battery I think is dead on this one. This one is connected. So I can view a map where it is. I can't show this because it's gonna show my address, but yeah, so it pulls up my exact address. Right, and from this screen, so we're gonna blur the address part out, but I wanted to ring it. So now the tag should make a noise and then I can hit stop on my phone. All right, and then I can make it tag again. If I you know, make it do it again, it's gonna do it right here. If I hit this button, it also stops, right? 
I can have it notify me when I left it behind. And then you can also add stuff you don't want. So like say I want to add my home address as saying. So it's fine if I leave my keys at home, but then I get a notification if I leave it somewhere else. I think I will do that. So if I leave my keys somewhere that's not home, it will tell me ideally. I assume it gets an X amount of distance away from my keys. Although I don't know if it'll do that in the airport. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. You add a safe space. Yeah, that's gonna be my address again. So it's gonna be blurred out, but I'll just hit home and save it. So now if I leave this somewhere, not at my house, it should notify me it's somewhere else. There's a whole bunch of safety stuff. So emergency contact info message. All right, so find phone or tablet. So now I can double press the button to make my phone ring for this phone. So here's my phone. I'm gonna double press this button here. And now my tag's trying to find the phone. So you can see that there, super loud. And you can do automations, right? If you wanna set up some tags so you can hit it, hold it once or twice, do other things, right? Like say if you pressed it, and you can add a routine, like some smart things type things. You can have it notify someone. Uh, that's pretty neat, right? So that's a lot more advanced. If you want to do some stuff like say, I wanted to turn on light outside, right? Or something like that, I want to double tap. I don't really need any of that currently, but I might set it up at some point. You can change the volume, change the ringtone. You can turn on power saving mode. It's pretty good. And you can rename it. So I'm gonna edit device and call it uh, smart tag two. I'm gonna call it black smart tag two. And I'm gonna put Mike's keys. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm gonna put my house keys on here. All right, so for my smart tag, I wanna connect it to my keys. You could loop it through there, but I think it'll be easier if I have one of these little rugged cases they have. So here are four Samsung official rugged cases, or two rugged cases, two silicone cases. So let's do the black one. And so it will squish in a bit. Doesn't seem to be a front or back to it. And then it just pops in, I guess. Good Lord. I'm gonna have to read the directions to put it in there. Top first. All right, that's how I had it. All right, so regular case fits. And of course, I don't know where the audio comes from. I guess this little hole right here is where the audio comes from because the rugged case won't. Let me go back to my phone and I'll make this device ring. So I can still hear it just fine. Hit the button, make it stop. So it's good. All right, and then this is like a carabiner. Well, part of me doesn't like that. So I do wonder if I'm gonna lose it, but you know what I can do is just, so right now I'm gonna put it on like this. So now this is my house key. So like I said, and I have a Tesla, so I don't need a key fob anymore, but I need to carry my house keys. And so this is a nice little, you know, lot less to carry with me. Just my house key. This is probably my mom's house, I think. And then just some various stupid cards. And my luggage. This is a key for my suitcase. So, but part of the reason that this is so much lighter, it could be easier to lose. So it's good to have the tag to be able to find it. So I like that. I like that. So let's try this other one. The other rugged case is gray, which is weird because the smart tag is white. I guess I'll put the gray one on the other black one. You know, my Tesla is gray, so maybe I should use the gray for mine. But I like the black. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so it's recognizable. So this one, black and gray, we'll just pair that with his right away. This is my son's phone. I already paired the other one with my phone. We'll see where I am. Yeah, so there, I didn't recognize Galaxy Smart Tag 2. So we add it. I do kinda like the gray, so I don't know. Do I want the gray because my car is gray or do I want black just to match with the black tag? Quite the conundrum. Good thing is it pops in and out, so I can change it. I changed my mind. And now we're just pairing it again. I bought a four pack of smart tags, so I bought four cases. And I'll use them for spare keys. Like for example, here's the spare key to my Cadillac. So my son drives a Cadillac, but then I also, you know, we have a spare key at home and I'll put a tag on that so we don't lose it somewhere. This is the silicone one. So obviously it's very squishy. That's an interesting design there. You gotta take this whole thing off. The key ring is silver, where it's just kind of like matte on this one. I don't know if it's gonna come across in camera properly. Shiny, not shiny. And this is just one loop like this, whereas the silver one, it has like a little contraption. So let me take the white one off and stick it in there. Oh yeah, it fits right in, that fits perfectly. I bet my wife would like that. The color doesn't even matter on this one, right? Cause you just cover it up. That's interesting. And then you squish it in. Like I gotta say, I bought the rugged one, but the silicone one's pretty nice. Let me go ahead and pair this one before I lose it. I forget about it. So yeah, it pops right up. And, and then I will be able to label it in the teal silicone case, I guess. And you can still press the button. You can't see the button, but you also can't see it here. It just, you press on the words and the words are on the case too. So works just fine. Yeah, I didn't recognize it right away. So it's good. Quite a mess I made over here. All right, so it's ready to use. It's gonna update the firmware. Then we're gonna update that tag. All right, and then here is the pink, I guess, lavender. Same scenario. You'll just pop it out there. I bought this, it came with the, there's a tiny little hole there. So I guess that's how you take the battery out. Let me just double check that one. This one while I'm still working on it. Yeah, you just put that in there like that. And that pops it out. There's just a little CR2032 battery in there. I don't wanna plug that one in yet so I can name this so I know which one's which. See with the old original smart tag, you just had to pop it open like a, like a guitar pick or something to pop that thing open. So I like the new battery design better. 
I still kind of like this one, but I don't know. They're both good. And the more I look at this, I think I do like the gray one. I'm taking the gray one because I have a gray Tesla. It's kind of hard to get these. I mean, I guess that's good. It's hard to get these out of here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it like this. All right, top out first. That makes more sense. All right, so now I swapped them. And I don't know which one's mine anymore. I think I do. I'm pretty sure it's this one. But let's just double check to make sure I didn't mess up. You know, you see you got multiple smart tags on there. This is the one I labeled as my keys. And so we will just bring it. Now I'll have my keys set up. And then now I have another one in here, smart tag here. I'm pretty sure it's this one. So let me just ring it just in case. I do kind of like the little finger hole. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. So now for this tag, I will rename it. Just go to edit device and you can rename it really easily. And I will call it white smart tag two teal case. And that just leaves this one here to set up. I'll set that up as well. I just plugged it in. So now it should be recognizing. And I'm going to set it up on this phone. There it is. So I'll add this one. While we're at that, once again, we'll do the same thing. Let's take it out of here. This little guy disconnects. There's kind of like a little metal ring in the middle to keep it tight. And of course, you know which side the button is on because where the words are. And then the speaker hole in the back. I'm assuming that's a speaker. And that kind of clips on. All right. And that should be it. So we'll set them up. So this one's set up already. And I'm going to change the name. Lavender. And we'll give the black case to my son so he can have the black key fob. Black Cadillac. Black eye if he loses the Cadillac. So yeah. I like these, they're pretty good. I like the smart tags. Like I said, I've, I've been a smart tag user and I like it. The smart tag two, I assume is gonna be better. Different than them, like better. And have them in person. I assume my wife will like the brighter colors and my son and I will like the rugged case. I don't know how rugged makes a difference, but I also don't know if I'm gonna just switch this. If I might get rid of the little carabiner and just put it on here. It seems a little more secure-ish. Or use one of these little black circles like this and put it on there. I feel like the carabiner, I might accidentally lose it. But it's fine, you have this hole, right? So you can change it as needed. And right, that comes off on the rugged one, it's a solid little loop. I, mean, I guess that like you do it in there, but that just seems more difficult to me. And you're gonna scratch it up and then just, I like these little cases, they're nice. It's a good way to differentiate them. All right, that's it. It's a big thumbs up for sure. Like it, love it. I love it.